Hello, this is Alex from SignalsAudio.com and this is part 4 of my drum sample series and we're going to create contact files. Um, we're going to do this by using battery. Uh, I might put up a part 5 that, um, that doesn't use battery and just uses uh, scripting inside contact, but so far this is the fastest, easiest way I know um, how to do it, so hopefully a battery. Cool. Okay. So we're just going to locate our samples here, and you can download them. The link's below if you need to download these, if you're trying to follow along. Um, so we'll just go top, and we'll take all of the hit ones, and just drag them to the same uh, box like that. So they're all, they're all in there. Okay, do the same thing for hit two and hit three. And I've been talking quite a bit about why the files, when I export them to different folders, why I don't uh, put prefixes on them, and you're you're about to see why when I uh, transport this over to Contact. Okay, so now we have to map our velocities. Uh, so for medium low. We'll do low 1 to 50. Uh, medium will be 51 to 100. You see the names there. And the hard hits will be 101 to 127. Okay, perfect. So this is hard one, 101 to 127. Okay, and uh, now that we've got all that mapped out, we have to um, tell these to cycle random. And we do that right here, condition, cycle random. That's all you have to do. Um, and then we have to assign uh, what MIDI note these are supposed to be. So we need a MIDI performance here. Just adding a couple notes, we'll make it um, We'll make it uh, 36, which actually should be a kick drum, but whatever. Yeah, good enough. And then we'll just repeat that. And we'll click learn on the cells. So that they're all triggered by the same MIDI note. And it should, uh, it should play them randomly. And you can see that it does. Um, so that's that's our top microphone mapped out and go file save kit and where are we here desktop samples working folder contact conversion all right perfect and we want to save it as patch plus samples um, and we'll save this as top okay um, now what we do is remove that, throw all this in the background, throw our contact conversion uh, top top samples, and throw that into um, call it confuse because we're going to confuse um, contact with it, you'll see. And then what we want to do is copy top two more times. Oops. Name this one room. And name this one bottom. Um, and then we have to copy room and bottom. 
Okay. Hopefully I did that right. Okay, pretty confusing. Go to contact. Okay, now. Desktop, samples, working folder, contact conversion. Um, if we click here, we see the uh, the battery files. Click bottom. It's and that's why I called it confused because you don't want it to be able to find the samples that it's missing. And this is why I name them all the same. Go browse for folder, and this is the bottom. So just choose bottom. It'll load those samples. And uh, for room, do the same thing. Browse for folder. Choose room and now it's loading the other samples so you don't have to keep mapping them over and over again. Uh, it just saves a lot of time and on Confuse just open that and this one will, will load fine because we haven't messed with it. And now um, it should play without a hitch. So let's try that. Oh, another thing. You have to change your MIDI channels to Omni like that. And then now it should be playing um, everything fine, and you can adjust your levels just like we did in the uh, in Dramagog, and like you could do in Trigger. And all that stuff seems to be working, so that's uh, pretty much it. You can also what you want to do after is save these. Um, we'll save top, just an example. Um, you could just make a folder called final and you could save them as monolith folders or monolith uh, files which have all of the uh, samples included um, in them to make it a nice tidy package. That's pretty much all, all there is to it. Uh, you can also uh, save it all as multi. So if you want one, if you want uh, just one file that loads up all three of them, you could try that. I've had some issues getting that working and I actually just end up usually loading them all one at a time. Um, I'm not sure why saving multis like sometimes doesn't work. It it kind of glitches out and they all make the same sound. It's really weird. But uh, if you have that happen, um, I don't know. Just load them one at a time. And if anyone knows how to fix the multi saving stuff or, like, or if I'm doing something wrong, just let me know and I'll figure that out. Okay, cool. So that's how you do it. Um, all right, that's everything. Goodbye.